Shout out and thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Noom. Now, today's video is not going to be another one of those things where I just tell you what I eat on game day or on training day. No. We want to give you the basis, knowledge. Knowledge. That way you can navigate all the nonsense that's out there because I'm not a doctor. Am I? Is it possible that I could be a doctor? No, it's not. But what we can do is talk to specialists, researchers, in order to understand how we should be navigating this crazy world that they call nutrition. You know what I like more than good food? But you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? Knowledge. Knowledge. Okay, let's uh, go to the grocery store. Yeah? Add it up. All right, so as you can see here, we're here at the grocery store to get all the things that we would need. And we want to start our day off with a nice tea. I would swear, trust me. Which is why normally in the morning, on a good morning and in a good evening, we started with a little bit of ginger tea. All right, so we got the ginger here. You guys will check out how we make this. This is turmeric, which also very good, but I like to do that a little bit later in the day. As for our actual food, things like this, Greens are huge, which you will know. Broccoli is huge, zucchini is huge, all this stuff you guys will see. Speaking of fruit, I'm huge on bananas, oranges are awesome, all this stuff. I eat on a regular basis, mainly though before training and stuff like that. I will like to have a couple bananas if I'm going to the gym uh, or if it's just before training. I don't like to eat a huge breakfast, especially if the night before I had my main dish. And so you guys are going to see all the stuff that I like and love to eat when I have water. If you want to be a civilized human, all right, grab a little bit of lemon, grab a little bit of lime, and you put that in your water because the only thing, the only drink that I have is either coconut water or water. That's it. So I don't drink soft drinks and uh, all that stuff anymore. It's just uh, the benefit for me is huge to just drink water. So now, admittedly, guys, this is a taste you have to acquire. But if you can acquire it, excellent for your health. Kimchi is awesome. Obviously, as a footballer, you have to manage your carbs, your proteins, your fats, and all that stuff. And one of the things I always make sure is that when you're checking labels and I'm checking things, I want to make sure that I don't have any added and extra sugar. That's a thing. Everybody pretty much knows that nowadays that you need to check that stuff. Turkish yogurt, one of my favorite things to plop right down there next to the rice and all the other stuff like that. Yogurt is awesome in the mornings. It's kind of the snack type thing. I love it. A healthy amount of butter for me gets me going, gets me ripped. Now we mentioned before that we're huge fans of new and that's because they're just like Team Golarain. They're driven by making real change. It's more than just an app. I would consider new my friend. They want to help people have healthier lives and they do this by leveraging psychology and science. Obviously, what you can learn and understand, you can implement. Earlier in the video, we mentioned how important it was to understand labels. And who do you think is going to make you nutrition label literate? Noom. Did you know that zero calorie products do not actually exist? And that zero calorie foods can confuse your body and actually lead you to eat more. And what else can Noom help us with? Well, here's a guy trying to track his food intake and exercise without Noom. If you're the type of person that likes a numbers approach and you want to track your food and your exercise, Noom can do this seamlessly within the app, which is really cool. And imagine if you had a personal food coach around 24 seven that you could ask any questions to and that could guide you on your food journey. Yes, they've got that too. A personal goal specialist, a real human who you can go to to ask questions to keep you going and on your way. Even though it's our personal responsibility, it's always good to have a friend there to hold you accountable. So now that I've actually been using Noom, what I love is that all of the information that they provide allows me to dive deeper and deeper so I can gain some knowledge into my understanding of food. It's way less stressful to have everything consolidated rather than scouring the whole internet to try and find things. And as we said, Noom goes beyond what is required. I found a step-by-step -step guide on meditation. As you guys know, I am an avid 
meditator. So this definitely gets the Golaremi stamp of approval. And of course, there's more. Team Golaremi member B. Millie whipped up a delicious recipe straight from Noom's recipe library within the program, which provides simple recipes and information on things that you can cook that would be good for you. So those of you that are cooking inclined, check that out because simplicity is key. Go right down below and click the link. Take your free 30 second quiz. You do not have to go on this food journey alone. It's better to do it with a teammate. So make sure to check them out. And now let's go check out that game day prep. Let's take a counterintuitive approach here and understand what it is we should eat on a game day where we should be at peak performance. And then we're gonna extend that out to understand what it is we should be eating on a more daily basis. So follow me now into understanding what science says you should be eating before a game. So it is recommended that over the course of a game day, a footballer's caloric intake should come from 55 to 65% carbohydrates, 12 to 15% protein, and less than 30% fat. The real question you should be asking yourself is, how did they come up with this? Where is this line of thought? Why these percentages? Why these numbers? Let's go a little bit deeper into understanding that. So three to four hours before a game, a footballer is expected to top up or charge up their carbohydrate stores and not all carbs are made equal. Have a look at some ones that you should be checking out right now. In the Carbohydrate Hall of Fame, you got rolled oats, muesli, quinoa and whole grain pasta, sweet potatoes, and a few different types of rice. Now the idea behind this is that a meal rich in carbohydrates, moderate in protein and moderate in fats is going to avoid stomach issues. We want to avoid gastrointestinal issues like stomach cramps and bloating. So that's what this is aimed at doing. So for a guy like me, choosing your protein is a very important endeavor. You should choose it wisely. And here are some of the proteins that you might want to check out. Grass-fed beef, free-range chicken, great sources of protein. There are, of course, tons more. And you vegetarians just going to have to wait for the next nutrition video. We'll get into it there. But for now, to simplify things, just know if you're looking for protein, you can get it right there. Fats might get a bad rap, but they are essential to a healthy diet. And healthy fats are the ones that you need to be going after. So these are the ones that you should also check out. Things like nuts, chia seeds, olive oil, coconut oil, peanut butter, and avocados. So while it's very obvious that what you eat before the game is going to affect you during the game, what you eat after and what you have a habit of eating after and doing after is also incredibly important. So if you've had good trainers or good physios at any of the clubs that you've played at, you've probably heard the three R's, which are repair, replenish, and rehydrate, which is a good way of saying that you need to get quality protein into your system, that you have to get excellent carbs right in, and you, of course, have to rehydrate. Yeah! So now that our crash course is done on the science and knowledge, knowledge, what they think and what they believe, what does this mean for you? Well, I can tell you what I have done, because what I believe is that each and every one of you should be testing testing stuff constantly because that's what I did. You have to test the different workouts. You're going to actually have to test the types of foods that make you feel best and that are optimal for you. And once you figure that out, you can really start to make some serious gains. All right. So what that means for me is that I have kind of blended together what they've said about carbohydrates. I've tested, played games and played trainings where I've not eaten a whole lot of carbs and just ate mainly meat and vegetables, all right? I've done some where I've eaten more carb-based and used some gels and different types of things that are geared towards giving you this high kick, high fast amount of energy. And what I find is that I like to have a higher source of protein. I like to have a slightly higher source of fat. For carbs, rice is my go-to, okay? And not just any type of rice, specifically, Jasmine, basmati rice, those are good, but lately it has been the forbidden rice. Son, come on now, have a look at this dish. Tell me this dish doesn't look good. You know it looks good. So to balance, this is what my, this is one of my favorite meals. It's the stuff that I eat essentially every day. I listen to my body. That is what I found over the course of all of these years. It's not to follow a diet, it's not to follow the current trend, it is to listen to your body. You start to train yourself to figure out what it is that your body is telling you. And if you listen, it will talk to you, all right? And so this is what works for me. Having a good amount of black rice. This stuff is so healthy, so good. One of the best and most healthy rices in the world for you. There's gonna be people in the comment section, this stuff tastes Shut up. Rice has to be mixed with a fat, and I love olives. Olives are my go-to a little bit of butter, all right? Coconut oil, I love to cook in coconut oil. These are the type of things that I love to put in 
my food. So you guys, right now you're looking at a dish that I cook all the time, all the time. All right, with broccoli. So you make sure you have my greens. I make sure I have my rice and the protein doesn't matter. So if I say that's it, my friends, that's what I would eat on a game day. And that's actually what I've trained myself to eat on a more or less normal basis. I don't eat junk food. I don't like it. It's not that I don't like how it tastes when it first goes in. It's the fact that afterwards you don't feel good. I don't feel good. I can do it. I can eat it. I can have that. And then I can run, but you don't feel the same. So I would implore all of you to check out all of those things with yourself. So you need to learn you. It's, an, it's a journey. And that's why I like Noom because it's going to educate you on the best things. It's not saying you've got to cut out all sugars and you've got to cut all those things. That's not what everybody's saying, but they're saying, listen, this is what processed food does to you. All right. So you make your own decision on whether or not you want to incorporate that into your diet. Because generally after the game, I don't eat all that much. It's generally harder for me to have a huge meal immediately after a game. It takes me some time to relax and chill. So I usually have things like shakes, which are perfect, you guys. So B Millie and I came up with a world renowned shake. Grab a banana or two, some spinach, one or two tablespoons of peanut butter, whey protein powder, coconut oil. Some Greek yogurt, a little bit of cinnamon, and you can use water, almond milk, or organic milk, depending on what works best for you. Blend. And you're good to go. All right, guys, that's the vid. Make sure to check out our sponsor right down below. That is Noom. Subscribe, like, comment, do all the things. Check out goldarami.com and check out the articles where we go more in depth on nutrition and all of that stuff right down below. And we will see you later. Peace. Now I'm in the game. I was on the bench. On the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the beamer, now I want the bench. Spending all the bag like here I go again.